Hey guys, it's Valerie. I have two hauls for you today. I'm probably going to split them up into two videos, but the first one I'm going to do right here is a high-end haul. So I'll just dive right in to make sure that I get it in 10 minutes. Try not to make super long videos, but so it's hard because I shop a lot. Uh, but I always try to get deals, so just putting that out there. I guess I'll start with uh, the most recent MAC stuff that I got. From that previous collection that I was talking about, I don't remember what it's called, um, but it has the Pearl Glide liners, like I said. I got one in black line, which is actually kind of like a dirty green black. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I really like the creaminess of it. It's really easy to apply. I just kind of rim all around my eye and it's super easy and it's kind of like a uh, like a rocker look I guess. I don't know. Just like the whole like I'm wearing eyeliner but you know I didn't take 10 minutes to put it on. That kind of look. These are really good for that because they're like they glide on in a second. And then I also got two grease paint sticks. I got one in slick black, which is just black, and the point is smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a, a chubby pencil, but it's just black. It's just basically a crayon, you know, same concept, but um, this you have to use a little more precision with, otherwise you're going to look like a raccoon. Um, you can also use it all over your lid as like a base. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, excuse me. And then the other grease paint stick I got is in Dirty, which I heard is like satin taupe. Um, and I am obsessed with satin taupe, so I had to get it. And it kind of is. It's a little darker, but I think in the sunlight, um, it'll look more like that taupey color. So that is from that collection. I also went to uh, Nordstrom. And I picked up an Opulash, which I believe that the regular Mac store has now. But I think maybe Nordstrom was the first to get it. And it's in this fat tube like this. I'm trying to use um, some other mascara, so I've only used this once, which I shouldn't have even opened it. But I'll just show you. It has one of those really big brushes. And it's just the like original type of wand with coarse bristles. It's not like the rubbery bristles. And I usually don't like mascaras like this. Um, like the Too Faced Lash, Inject Lash Injection and um, the Big Fatty Mascara from Urban Decay. I don't like those. And this kind of looks like that so I don't think I'm going to like this but like I said I've only used it once so I can't do like a proper review on it. Just a couple more MAC things. Um, I got this at my CCO. It's a MSF in Triple Fusion. You're not going to be able to read it. But this is what it looks like. It has just three strips of color. And it's like a gold, a copper, and a pink. And it's really, really, really shimmery. So I have to use it with a light hand. But the pink color is very pretty. And I've kind of been wearing it as a blush highlight. I mean, I guess that's what you'd use it for. I wouldn't use it all over your face unless you wanted to look like a disco ball. Another thing I got from the CCO is the MAC 165 brush, which is a tapered brush that I think came out with Blonde Brunette Redhead. I'm not sure. But I saw a lot of people talking about it in like their favorite MAC brush video, so I picked it up. And what I use it for is highlight or like a contour. I don't know what else it would be good for. I'm not uh, super knowledgeable about the whole range of brushes. I just know which ones I like and what I use them for. But uh, like I said, a lot of people said that it was one of their favorites. So like with everything else that everyone else likes, <laughs> I always have to try it myself. Um, let's see. One last thing I got from the CCO is the... I think it's Summer Crop, I think is the name of this one. It's the lit bag from the Graphic Garden Collection. <laughs> it's been a while. It came out last summer. It has the little like mod print on the inside. 
and I wanted this so bad and it was sold out everywhere and it showed up at a CCO I went to down in Naples, Florida. And this is Garden Bed. I don't know if you can see that very well with my bad lighting. But it is a very sheer, sheer pinky copper. And the other one I really like is called Semi Annual. This is a really pretty nude. I don't know if you can see that. But let's see. They're both lusters, which are my favorite formulation of MAC lipsticks. They're really smooth and um, they don't cake up and look milky on your lips. And the lip gloss is in, lip glass is in Summer Crops, I guess that was the name of the one that I got. And that is right there. Like I said, probably not going to be able to see with my lighting. I apologize. Okay, also while I was at um, Nordstrom's where I got the Opulash, I got my first YSL lipstick and lip gloss. I went to a cosmetics trend show, I think it was back in April, and your ticket was like $15 and you got to use that anywhere you wanted um, in the cosmetics section. So I used it at YSL because their lipsticks are expensive. Actually, I got the lip gloss there. That's right. It says so on the side. I got the number 20 which is called Golden Gloss, and it's super pretty. That sounded really valley girl, but it's super pretty. It's like a baby pink mauve combination with shimmer, and I was surprised that their lip products smell like mango or like papaya or something. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all, but it's really, really pretty. I have it on right now. And then, so I used my $15 for that, so that ended up being um, very reasonable for a YSL lip gloss. And then it was around the time they had the 15% off at Sephora, so I got the lipstick that coordinates with this at Sephora, so I can get a discount. I could have, so I could get the discount on that. And this is a number four, which is Sweet Honey. Now, um, everyone knows the packaging is adorable. It has the mirror on top. It's really heavy and really gorgeous. The color is a little light uh, for me, but it's just a really beautiful nude. It goes really well with that lip gloss. The consistency is very, very creamy. It's really luxurious on your lips, as it should be. It's expensive. It does get on your teeth more because it is so creamy, but I mean, that's the price you pay, I guess, for a really nice lipstick. It's going to get on your teeth. Um, yeah, so I have a couple more things that I will do in a future video because I'm running out of time. And then look for that drugstore haul. It's going to be like lipsticks and nail polishes. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.